Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. With this video, actually, what we're doing is uh, we have started a, a new playlist. Uh, we are going to do some videos on econometrics as well. So this is as per your request. Many of you have requested me to do a session on uh, um, econometrics. So I'm starting it today. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we will be going on uh, doing um, this econometrics uh, topics uh, in a continuity because I have to cater to the needs of other students as well. So uh, we will be doing a mix of all uh, kinds of topics. Uh, so if you want me to do any of the topics, um, uh, not only in terms of econometrics, but also uh, with respect to the, uh, other topics in the arena of economics, please comment uh, in the comment box. You can uh, write in the comment box. Either you comment in the comment box or um, you can write to me. Uh, via telegram so it's your wish uh, whether you choose um, youtube or telegram it's your wish anyway uh, that is just to give you an intro of uh, today's uh, session with that we start uh, gauss marco theorem which is a topic of discussion uh, today so uh, when, whenever we start econometrics uh, so this is something we start with right so, so for people who have already done uh, a session on econometrics in their um, colleges, uh, in the colleges also, uh, this would be the starting point of uh, the discussion of econo uh, econometrics, Gauss-Marco theorem. So, what the theorem is? What does the theorem tell us? It tells us that if a certain set of assumptions are met, the ordinary least square estimate for the regression coefficient would give you blue. That means that um, the best linear unbiased estimate. So this is gauss marco theorem. So in the first sentence, um, in the first line itself, it is uh, told that, no, not in the first right, in the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, in the first to uh, the second line. So what does it tell is that um, uh, you have to meet certain assumptions. Only after meeting the assumptions, uh, your ordinary least square estimate would give you blue, right? So uh, what are these assumptions? So uh, this is very important as far as the gauss marco theorem is concerned. The assumptions are linearity, randomness, uh, non-collinearity, exogenity, and homoscedasticity. So these are the uh, important assumptions. Let's understand each of these assumptions in its details. What does linearity mean? The parameters uh, we uh, estimate in the model using Euler's method would give would be linear so that uh, that is the term linear means or all stands for ordinary least square so what are the the, the parameters um, which you have in the model and which you estimate using oil is would be linear that's it coming to the randomness that means that the data which you use uh, for um, estimating the model it is something which is randomly sampled from the population okay so you are actually uh, no you don't have any kind of bias um, you have gone for, uh, you have selected the samples just by picking them randomly. You haven't uh, used a, you, any kind of specification or any kind of biasness for picking the samples. Next, we have non-collinearity assumption. Uh, it is, uh, it doesn't mean, it means that the regressors being calculated aren't perfectly correlated with, with, with each other. You know what correlation it, it, it means a uh, um, kind of association uh, and between two variables. So here we uh, assume that there is no correlation at all. <coughs> Sorry. Then we have to meet the assumption of exogeneity. That means that the regressors are not correlated with the error term. Uh, error term is actually uh, all these things we will be discussing uh, in its details. Uh, just understand that, uh, that in your model, um, uh, you will be having one dependent variable and a set of independent variables, right? Even though you have a, a, a set of independent variables, uh, which will be, which will influence your uh, dependent variable, your, uh, uh, in, even if you increase the number of independent variables, there is a limit to which you can do that. That means that you will be omitting certain variables. Uh, that is knowingly or unknowingly, you will be omitting certain variables. So, uh, uh, that aspect, that omission it, uh, has to be care, 
uh, that too has to be uh, taken into consideration while running the model and this omission is is actually captured by what is known as the error term error term will incorporate those variables which you omit from the model but these uh, these variables would be uh, influencing your dependent variable okay so your model would be having uh, a dependent variable certain independent variables and an error term okay next um, uh, you have to understand homoscedasticity which is another assumption of gauss marco theorem it says that no matter what the values of our regress regressors might be the error of the variance is actually constant so this is another uh, important assumption why do we need to stick on to the assumptions it, this is a very important question which we need to answer we know that the gauss marco theorem is something if our ordinary least square uh, 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 do uh, it it follows certain assumption we will be getting some blue estimate but what is the main thing or what is the main reason why we have to stick on to these assumptions we this assumption these assumptions have got certain purpose gauss marco assumptions actually guarantee the validity of oils for estimating the regression coefficient that means that you can uh, you can go for oils okay and checking how well our data matches these assumptions is an important part of estimating regression coefficients and when you know whether where these conditions are violated you will be able to plan the ways to change your experiment setup to help your situation to fit the ideal gauss marco situation more closely so from this you might have got an idea that the gauss marco theorem sticking to all the assumptions of gauss marco theorem is very much important to run the model uh, correctly so otherwise if you are violating any of the assumptions actually you are not uh, running the model um, correctly you are wrong you have to be very uh, cautious by uh, while uh, seeing or uh, whether the uh, whether any of the Uh, any of the assumptions are violated or not okay. so in practice you can see that um, these all the assumptions are uh, it is very much difficult to meet all the assumptions but there are some successful benchmark useful benchmark which you can stick on to because uh, ideal conditions are something which are uh, set uh, to stick on to these right even though these are th it is very much difficult or it is not that possible to stick on to the all these assumptions mm, this kind of uh, in practice you can see that there is there uh, there can be some kind of problem with respect to the estimation of regression coefficient uh, because it can become inaccurate or un unstable or unstable unusable so uh, so these things are something which you have to take into consideration especially while uh, linking the model building with uh, reality how we could be connected with reality and sticking to the assumptions model building sticking to the assumptions and uh, 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 and uh, linking the same with the reality so that's it for today please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos and you can be a part of my telegram group and telegram channel to discuss your doubts i'll be providing the links of both my telegram channel and telegram group in the description box Uh, that's it thank you